Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this virtual meeting to show you the recommended improvements for Saltwater Ditch. My name is Jeannie Penn, and I'm with the Harris County Engineering Department. And I am joined tonight by representatives from the City of Houston, Harris County Precinct 1, the Harris County Flood Control District, and the Harris County Engineering Department. We would also like to thank our elected officials who are joining us tonight. In a moment, I will be going over tonight's agenda and what to expect. But first, we wish everyone safety and wellness during this time of COVID-19. We understand, and especially during this time of year, that the risk of storms and flooding wait for no one. So we are here tonight to provide you with the recommended improvements for Saltwater Ditch, and most importantly, to gather your input during this virtual meeting and thereafter. Adam Eaton will begin tonight's presentation portion from the City of Houston. Mike Turner with the Harris County Engineering Department will follow to provide his presentation. After the presentations, there will be time allotted to answer questions submitted through the Zoom Q&A function. So this slide shows you where the Q&A function is located. You may submit a question at any time. All questions will be recorded, and should our meeting conclude without responses to your questions, please know we will gather and respond to your questions at a later date. Email and website information will be provided following the presentation. Also, translators will be available for questions submitted in Spanish. If you or anyone you know are experiencing technical difficulties throughout any point during this meeting, we will have this meeting posted to the Harris County Flood Control District YouTube channel and the web address you see at the bottom right corner. So without further delay, thank you for joining us tonight. Presentations will begin now. Hello, my name is Adam Eaton. I'm an engineer with the City of Houston. The City of Houston is currently conducting a study to identify and analyze drainage needs in the greater Sunnyside area. The goal of the study is to identify neighborhoods that are at high risk of excessive street ponding or flooding outside the city's right-of-way. The study area includes the neighborhoods surrounding the saltwater ditch in which storm sewers discharge into the ditch. The City of Houston, in coordination with Harris County, and the Harris County Flood Control District, we use the results to create an action plan that aims to improve the storm drainage infrastructure and mitigate the risk of flooding throughout the Sunnyside area. Welcome everyone to tonight's presentation about the Saltwater Ditch Project. I'm Michael Turner, the Project Manager with the Harris County Engineering Department. The study phase of this project is being conducted under a partnership between Harris County, Harris County Precinct 1, Harris County Flood Control District, and the City of Houston. Let's get started. This is a slide showing the general location of the project in the Sims Bayou watershed, both in the City of Houston and Harris County. A closer look, the open channel begins at Calhoun Street, past Jutland, crosses under MLK, Crestmont, Belfort Street, Vassar, past the ball fields and golf course at Law Park and ultimately outfalling into Sims Bayou over three miles from where it started. The goal, reduce the risk of future flood damage by increasing the capacity of the channel. How? replacing the open channel with an enclosed storm drain system that can carry more water. Also, the enclosed storm drain system will be at a lower elevation, which will allow the neighborhood storm drains to connect up to it in a more efficient fashion. This image illustrates the replacement of the ditch with the, the enclosed storm drain. This will allow the neighborhood to drain more effectively. Also note the partnerships. Harris County Flood Control has jurisdiction of the channel, and the City of Houston has jurisdiction of the area outside the channel. An image of the channel in its current condition. It's shallow. It doesn't con convey enough water to effectively drain the area during heavy storms, and it's too shallow to allow water from adjacent streets to drain to it. The solution, enclosed in a box culvert, that will convey more water and be deeper to allow adjacent areas to drain faster. Ultimately, a recreation trail 
will be included on the surface. The trail can begin at Calhoun and extend all the way to the Sims Bayou Pedestrian Bridge, complete with connections to neighborhood points of interest such as Hill Park, Jones High School, Edgewood Park, Alcott Elementary, Matting Elementary School, and Passing Law Park. The recommended improvements will bring flood risk reduction as well as a recreation trail to enhance the community. This wraps up the project portion of tonight's presentation. We wanted to bring these recommendations forward to receive input from you. Here's my contact information and the comment period. If you miss any portion of this meeting or know those who couldn't view the meeting tonight, please visit our website in the near future so, with this, please locate the Q&A function in the meeting and submit your questions. We will respond to them throughout the remainder of this meeting. Thereafter, we ask you to continue to submit your questions until 8 p.m. You may also email me at this email address during the two-week comment period. Thank you. Panelists will now answer questions live. Please use the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen to submit a question. Any questions that remain at the conclusion of the meeting will be responded to at a later date via email. Thank you. Hey everyone, want to remind you where the Q&A function is at the bottom of your screen. We do encourage you to, um, to submit your questions the remainder of this meeting and thereafter. Again, this, my name is Jeannie Penn and I'm with Harris County Engineering Department. I'll be your moderator for this evening. So uh, with this, we will go into the Q&A and Mike, take it away. Yes, uh, thanks Jeannie. I would like to take a tour, uh, get, give the viewers a tour of the project and I will do that. Let's just, let's just go here to an aerial image of the project. Let's, from a, a wider view of, of the Sunnyside area, we see the project highlighted with a heavy yellow line here. So Saltwater Ditch essentially is about 3.4 miles in length, beginning here at Calhoun Street and finally to Sims Bayou. So beginning at Calhoun Street, the, the channel runs between Pershing and Southwind in the easterly direction under Jutland, past Jones High School, um, past St. Low Park, you see here in the uh, north of the project, taking a corner turning south, finally another corner, past the apartment complexes off of MLK, continuing east crossing under South Bank, crossing then under Crestmont, continuing on, turning a corner south again under Dalton, Let's just get it oriented correctly. Southern direction to crossing under Belfort. And here you have finally crossing under Vassar adjacent to First T and Law Park. Finally, the golf course and then to Sims Bayou. That is, that is the project in an overview. With that, um, should we begin taking yep. questions? Absolutely, from the thank you, Mike. Yes, in addition to Mike Turner, we also have Adam Eaton, who you also heard from, but we also have Amar Mohite with Harris County Precinct 1, and we have Craig Moss with Harris County Flood Control District. So I think I'm going to um, give you another question, Mike. Um, we have a question coming in about yes. neighborhood street flooding. How will this help with that? 
Oh yes, um, the that that is the principal goal of this project is to alleviate the um, is is to convey water uh, from the neighborhood more efficiently into Sims Bayou, uh, and this project will allow uh, the neighborhoods to drain more efficiently uh, from the neighborhood areas in into this into the channel once it's replaced with an open channel to a box culvert. And for more detail, uh, uh, I would probably refer you to our the city of Houston, to Adam Eaton, uh, the Harris County's partner in, in this project. Uh, Adam, would you like to, to speak more detail about the neighborhood improvements? Sure. Yes, and that's exactly what uh, that's exactly what the the city study is focused on, um, in conjunction with the with the ditch, which is um, one of the main outfall points in this area for the city's infrastructure. Um, we are going to be looking at uh, improvements in the storm sewers and in the streets um, to increase level of service and to reduce the amount of uh, street flooding and uh, potential flooding outside the city's right of way, so in yards that could, uh, could impact um, structures. So the city is working hand in hand with the county um, between the two studies to determine uh, what improvements are gonna be needed in the ditch and then throughout the neighborhoods as well to um, reduce the amount of flooding overall. Uh, another question, how long is the ditch and who will maintain it? Okay, you know, I'll, I'll take that uh, question. Uh, Mike Turner with Harris County Engineering Department. The, the project is 3.4 miles in length and currently saltwater ditch is maintained by Harris County Flood Control. But the plan is that once the ditch is replaced with an enclosed box culvert system, the city of Houston will own and maintain it. Okay, and so can we put up another exhibit there? Okay. And so we have another question. Will there be an allowance for future expansion if it is determined that this drainage system is too small or will that result in another larger construction project to increase the size? Jeannie, Mike Turner with Harris County Engineering Department. Yeah, I'll, I'd like to answer that one. The, uh, the, the goal of this project is to, con, uh, to reduce the flood risk and in the least disruptive fashion. And so the, we are we're planning on the largest uh, conveyance that can, that can fit into this area without disrupting and the uh, private property on either side of the channel. So we're talking about the, the, the most benefit and the least disruption for the neighbors. Thank you. This is another question for you and Adam. What is the role of both the county and the city for the ditch? Uh, Adam, do you, you want to begin with that one? It, it, sure. Um, so once the once this, the the ditch is complete, um, once the project is, is complete, uh, the city will be responsible for maintaining the um, the closed portion, the 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 closed conduit portion, and uh, flood control Harris County flood control district will be responsible for uh, maintaining the open channel portion south of Vassar Road as it passes Law Park to the Bayou. Good. Do we want to share the jurisdiction exhibit once again? Yeah, if you, you could pull that up, that'd be great. Kim's behind the scenes working the magic, everyone. Where will the trail go and what would it look like? Panelists? Yeah, this is um, yeah, Mike Turner with Harris County Engineering Department. Well, yeah, uh, Harris County Precinct 1 has, uh, is planning on contributing the, the, the funds 
required to construct a trail uh, almost like what you see here in the entire project length of the saltwater ditch beginning at Calhoun Street and finally uh, to Sims Bayou and even connecting up to the Sims Bayou pedestrian bridge that's just east of the outfall and additionally the, the plan will be to include connecting possible connecting trails to uh, points of interest like Matting Elementary, Alcott Elementary, and Edgewood Park. Um, of course, the trail would run along uh, Jones High School, but there could be connections to St. Lowe Park or uh, E.P. Park uh, south of, uh, of Van Fleet Street. And all those connections are possible. And in fact, if any of the, uh, the, if the community has, um, has any ideas on how they would like to see the, the connections to the eventual trail, uh, please uh, let us know and submit your comments uh, through the process. Or you can uh, send, send an email to the email address. I want to remind you the email address for, for those uh, questions. Um, connections to the trail is saltwaterditch at eng.hctx.net. We have another question. Craig, might, this might be yours. Um, in addition to this project, are there future projects to increase the amount of bayous outlets instead of simply increasing the size of current outlets? Uh, Mike? Well, I think the, uh, this is Craig Moss with Harris County Flood Control. I think the, uh, of course, the point of the project is to improve the drainage to the, uh, the amount that uh, is possible within the existing right-of-way, as Mike had mentioned. And so uh, the, the channels and the inlets that, are, that drain into the channel itself, into the saltwater ditch, would be... Uh, improved by the city of Houston as part of their neighborhood projects. And so the, the idea would be that the entire system worked much more efficiently and drained things a whole lot better than it does right now. Uh, as far as additional channels or other bayous in the, in the area, there, we, w there's not, there aren't any specific plans for, uh, for something like that. Thank you, Craig. Will HOAs provide input on the trail? Uh, yeah, Mike Turner with Harris County Engineering Department here. Yeah, we're, we're open to, uh, to all, all input from, from organizations about the trail. We, we know that we want to have a trail uh, over the top of the box culvert that's replacing the ditch, but the connections to uh, the, the neighborhoods, uh, you know, where we, we want to hear what the community says about that. Absolutely. So one of the other questions would be explain the study design and construction phases. When will this project be constructed? Yeah, Mike, Mike Turner with Harris County Engineering. Uh, I'll begin with that. Uh, this, the project right now is in study phase to help determine what will be involved uh, when it's ultimately designed and undergoes construction. So that uh, it, the construction design and construction schedule has not yet uh, been set. It has not yet been determined, but the hope is that it could proceed on in uh, in an or in an organized fashion. Uh, in, in coming months. Thank you. Back to you, Craig. What other flood, flood, excuse me, flood projects are nearby? Well, I think uh, certainly the most important, one of the most important projects that the Flood Control District has, uh, uh, has completed uh, with our federal partners and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, is the Sims Bayou Federal Project that was completed just a few years ago, and uh, I think it has, has uh, performed quite well uh, during Harvey. And so that uh, certainly that's one of the premier projects that uh, that we like to point to 
and, and uh, would like to see more of certainly over time. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, as a result of Harvey's local repair uh, projects that were going on that are, uh, were, are mostly completed uh, or in progress, uh, a couple on saltwater ditch that have been completed. And uh, we were also doing some uh, studies on tributaries upstream of, uh, of this area, uh, closer to the, uh, uh, the, the western edge of the watershed. Uh, in a couple of channels there that would hope to reduce the amount of flow, uh, leaving those watersheds and, and eventually making its way downstream to Sims Bayou. So those are the active projects we have going on. We're also, of course, doing maintenance as we uh, maintain and, and mow the ditches. Uh, hopefully people who are, live out there noticed it. Uh, I think it was mowed just a, a couple of weeks ago or the week before last. Uh, and so we're uh, constantly out there doing those types of things. Are you going to have to take down my fence for the construction? Question for the panelists. Uh, the, yeah, this is Mike Turner with the engineering department. The, the goal is that the project will, will be constructed within the existing channel right away. So it, it may or may not be required to work uh, within uh, or outside that right away, but if if that comes to pass that in order to construct the ditch, we'll, we'll need to re replace fences. That's, that's yet to be determined. Thank you, Mike. This is related. Trees lost during construction. Would anybody like to take that one about trees lost during construction? Well, yeah, Mike Turner here again. The, uh, this, this is a great image showing the, the uh, this, is, this is a representative uh, view of what the, the channel will look like after we're done. Uh, certainly the, the trees uh, will be, will need to be uh, cleared through the entire uh, flood control uh, channel area. And, but any, any trees on private property will certainly likely be, be replaced uh, if, if, that, if that comes to pass. Panelists, will the trail be wide enough for both biking and jogging to occur safely at the same time? Oh yeah, and here, here you have a pretty good view of, of uh, although it's a schematic image, but we're we're thinking of a ten foot wide trail, so it's going to be it's going to be quite nice and a real asset to the community. Panelist, will there be any safety and security systems being considered to be included in the trail design? For example, lighting for night use, security cameras, street crossing devices, etc. Uh, and the uh, Mike Mike Turner here. The uh, the idea is that you know this will be a, a straightforward trail, and, and any any connection points that run through the community or cross any of the uh, any of the roads will have your but you know pedestrian uh, will have consideration for pedestrians and and cyclists. Uh, through uh, the sta standard process and, and design guidelines. Will any user amenities be provided for the trail? For example, benches, drinking fountains, human and pet, trash cans, etc. We're we're uh, looking at all. Uh, we're willing to hear from what the community has to say. And we're looking at um, all all kinds of uh, options, and we're we're curious in what what the community would have to say about uh, additional features. Mila, can you guys hear me? Yes. Hi, yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm one of the Spanish translators. Uh, uh, we have our first uh, question in Spanish. 
So I will go ahead and read it in English. So obviously one of our panelists can answer it, but then I will uh, read it in Spanish afterwards. So our speakers, um, our Spanish speakers can understand what I'm asking. So the question is, how can we send recommendations for the trail connections? Uh, la pregunta la voy a hacer ahora en español. Yo, mi nombre es Camila, acabo de hacer la pregunta en inglés y ahora se las voy a leer en español y cuando me den la contestación se las digo en español. Eh, ustedes preguntaron cómo podemos enviar recomendaciones para las conexiones del sendero. English answer please and I will translate. Let's repeat that question in English. Okay. In English, how can we send recommendations for the trail connection? So for the trail, I'll answer. Actually, I can answer that, uh, panelists. Um, please email your recommendations to saltwaterditch at eng.hctx.net and project manager will receive your recommendation and question. Okay. Uh, para contestar, eh, ¿dónde pueden mandar las recomendaciones para las conexiones del sendero? Por favor, mándelos al correo electrónico que acaban de poner en la página. Es saltwaterditch at uh, eng.hstx.net y ahí están uh, coleccionando todas las recomendaciones. And that is my answer in Spanish. Thank you. Thank you for that question too. It's a wonderful question. Um, so the next question for our panelists. Will the trail be designed to avoid ponding of water via grading and or drain inlets? Oh, uh, Mike, Mike Turner here. Yeah, you know, the, the trail is going to be, it, it's going to be a, uh, it, it's not, of course, it's going to be a, quite a trail uh, for, uh, for the community. Uh, just picture, if you will, the you know saltwater ditch is, is is quite quite wide, and once that's replaced with a enclosed storm drain, uh, we of course will have the, we're we're picturing a 10, 10 foot wide trail uh, in uh, you know, serving the community, and uh, the the community will be able to cycle or or, or walk uh, you know th through the area uh, down to Sims Bayou. Or possibly to the, you know, to the uh, the schools, the Alcott Elementary, the Madding Elementary, uh, Jones High School, and to you know to the parks in in the community. Thank you, Mike. We have another question for our tra uh, Spanish translators, um, Camila or Javier. Would you like to take the second question? I believe Javier. I got it, Jeannie. Javier, can you increase your volume a little bit? Let's see. Can you hear me now? Can everyone hear Javier? Can I hear can. Can me? Yes. Take it away. I can hear. Oh, okay. So the second question, the other question is, uh, how will the construction affect the houses around the ditches? ¿Cómo va a afectar la construcción a las casas alrededor de las zanjas? Okay, uh, Jeannie, I, I'll answer the question. Okay. The question is how, the engineering department, how, how will the construction affect the adjacent homes? And the answer is um, it, should, it will have no effect on the adjacent homes. The, the, one of the goals of this project is to, is to construct what we need to re, reduce the flood risk to the community without affecting the uh, the homes, and so that's. So la contestación que está dando el ingeniero. You know, that's that's one of the primary goals. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So la contestación que está dando el ingeniero es que esta construcción no va a afectar las casas alrededor de los de las zanjas. So, al contrario, lo que trata es de, de mejorar el drenaje para que así no afecte las casas cuando llueva. Thank you both. And thank you for that question. 
Kim, can we have the slide up again about contact information? I want to remind everyone where they can go for more information during this meeting and thereafter. Remember, we have a two-week comment period. We want your input. Um, you can go to www.hcfcd.org forward slash SWD. And then you can also email saltwaterditch at eng.hctx.net. Mike, I know that we are at the top of the hour and we're halfway point and I would like to um, refresh anybody who had just joined us on the recommended improvements. Can we get that slide back up on the proposed improvements and have Mike go over that one more time? Kim, can we have that slide up about the recommended improvements? Thank you so much. All righty, Mike, oh, okay. you're good to go. Okay, that, yeah, that, this, is a, this is a great image of, of what, uh, in fact, this, this image is looking from MLK looking upstream. You have the apartment complex on the right and it's effectively what the, what the ditch will look like uh, post-construction. It will be replaced by an enclosed storm drain system, which is going to convey more water than the ditch does now. And it's going to allow the, the city of Houston, Harris, Harris, County's, Harris County Flood Control's partner in this project uh, to connect uh, neighborhood storm drain system to this saltwater ditch a uh, storm drain box culvert. And we want to remind everyone how, how, what is the length of the ditch itself, Mike? Yeah. Uh, the, the project is 3.4 miles in length, saltwater ditch, beginning at Calhoun Street uh, and traveling east past Jones High School, uh, turning south uh, near St. Lowe Road, following the, the corner, passing parallel to Dalton under Martin Luther King, and then crossing south uh, near Belgar, under Belfort Street, South to Vassar Road, past Law Park, and finally into Sims Bayou. Right. Can we have that slide back up on the Q&A function? We want to remind everyone the Q&A function is at the bottom of your screen. So keep those questions coming. There have been a lot of great questions tonight. All right, so we will continue. So I think this is yours, Mike, again. Will any of the phase of work require night work? Typically, construction is, is not done at night. We'll, we'll take a look at that closer during the design phase, but that, that is not anticipated at, at all. And for those um, who have questions about the design phase, we do have some questions about study phase. What is, can you explain to um, everyone what is the design phase and what is the what is the study phase and what is the design phase into construction phase? Right. Yeah. The, the, the study phase, uh, the ongoing study phase at this point is gathering up the the information, uh, putting together uh, the the general idea of, of what we want to accomplish and preparing the, uh, the project to actually go into the detailed design. So we will uh, determine in the study phase the uh, level of flood reduction that this project uh, can achieve and reducing the flood levels by any amount during any storm can 
uh, can help every, every little bit. Okay, another question. When will construction begin? How long do you think it will take to finish? Yeah, this, this project, uh, as, it, as the study phase uh, is completed towards the end of the year, once uh, uh, the, the, the design phase uh, could, po could possibly take, uh, in, in these cases, uh, eight, 18 months, and uh, at, at some point construction could, could proceed on if, if things work well uh, with in, in, in due time. Thank you. Panelists, how will we know the results of the study? The, uh, Mike Turner here with the engineering department. The study, uh, once it's completed, will uh, be published and it will be on Harris County Commissioner's Court and like documents that are on Commissioner's Court are open to the public. So uh, the results of the study can, can be obtained uh, from Commissioner's Court. We have a, a panelist, we have a question about flood reduction. How much flood reduction will be the result? Yes, um, I, I, can, I can begin uh, with that one. Mike Turner. The, the, the goal is to achieve as much flood reduction by enclosing this open channel into an enclosed storm drain while a, with the least disruption to the community. So it's essentially, in other words, how much flood reduction can we, can we achieve within the, the limited right away of this flood control channel? Uh, reducing these flood levels any, any bit uh, can help um, for, for any storm. And then the secondary um, goal will be to allow the city of Houston neighborhood projects to connect up to this uh, enclosed storm drain box culvert in a more efficient fashion so that the neighborhoods can drain uh, much better. Okay. Will there be construction workers in my yard during this project? Yeah, uh, the, the answer is un, un, unlikely or the answer is no. Um, the, the construction work will not uh, take place on private property. It, there, there could be some uh, cases here and uh, in, in rarely, but uh, we will uh, obtain uh, an easement from, from, from the private property owners to work on private property. But that's, uh, that's not anticipated to happen uh, too widely on this project. Again, the goal is to construct the, the, the largest conveyance within the available right of way without having to work onto private property. Thank you. We do have another question about the connections for the trail. Uh, Mike, can you please repeat what we would like from the public on their input for the connections to the trail, what we are looking for? Remember, um, for these connections, everyone, you can submit your recommendations to Saltwater Ditch at eng.hctx.net. Okay. It's, um, yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the trail. I'd like to share my screen if that's possible. I have. Go ahead. Go to. Okay. Let's see. I'll share that. Okay. Now I'm sharing the screen. This this is the project limits here, beginning at Calhoun Street, and ending in the south, the, the Sims Bayou. Let's just take a. Let's just take a tour about uh, 
The, the project limits are identified by the heavy yellow line here. So starting at Calhoun Street, anticipated to be uh, the a trail starting here, connecting from, from Calhoun Street in, in some fashion to be worked out. And past Jones High School, possibly a trail connection here to St. Lowe Park on down St. Lowe Road. The trail following uh, around the apartment complex and under MLK, crossing under South Bank, Crest. Mont, turning the corner. Under Dalton Road, following the power lines. Maybe there's an opportunity to connect the trail to the, to the neighborhoods on either side, Belgrade Street or Belby Street. Crossing, uh, the crossing Belfort Street. Ah, opportunity to connect here at Belmark. Crossing Vassar. Is there an opportunity to connect to Matting Elementary? And here we have Law Park. Ultimately, the trail. Uh, not ending at, at the bayou there, would connect up to the pedestrian bridge crossing Sims Bayou here. So let us, let us know. What, um, Jeannie, probably it now, is, now might be another time to remind uh, the participants how they submit their comments. So we do have the email address for Saltwater Ditch at eng.hctx.net. That will go to you, Mike, uh, primarily. He will be on the other end. You can also submit photos. Um, we, we've received photos about projects. Um, if that's the way that um, you, can, you can show us what's going on in your area, uh, the best, go, please, by all means, submit them and submit your questions and your recommendations for those connections to the trail. We do want your input. Um, if you are just tuning in and you need more information about this project and you've missed some, we will be going over some of the more popular questions uh, that, keep, that keep coming up. And one of them is to how to submit um, recommendations. Um, please go to hcfcd.org forward slash SWD at the Harris County Flood Control District website and specifically the Saltwater Ditch project page. Um, Camilla, I have a question for you. You wanna take it away for our panelists? Yes, uh, thank you, Jeannie. Uh, the question um, in Spanish. Ahora les voy a leer la, pre la pregunta en español. ¿Qué factores investigaron, uh, investigarán en el estudio del drenaje? Uh, in English now, what factors will be investigated in the drainage study? And I'm sure this will be a lengthy response, so we can keep it to some bullet points. So my translation goes smoothly. I appreciate it. <laughs> sure. Um, Adam Eaton with the City of Houston. Um, for our drainage study, we are looking at um, the both the open ditches and the um, the storm sewers within the the, the neighborhoods. Uh, Jeannie, I don't know. Can you pull up my exhibit uh, from my slide that shows the yellow yellow boundary of our study area? A little bit further back. Adam, do you mind me telling them in Spanish that you're about to show them the area? Is that okay? Okay. Um, aquí tienen el mapa en el área amarillo. Están en, en, les van a explicar dónde van a hacer el proyecto y luego cuando él me termine de explicar todo, le diré exactamente de todos los factores que van a incluir en el estudio. Go ahead, Adam. Thank you. So this is our study area in yellow. Um, and as you can see, saltwater ditch um, 
starts over here and, and it's, it starts in the, about the center, top center, and then runs east and then down to the bayou. Um, so we're looking at all of the storm sewers, all the open ditches in this area, and we will be looking at how these systems interact with both saltwater ditch and some of the other um, channels that you see, as well as the major uh, storm sewer systems beneath um, the, the, the larger roads. So under MLK, under Belfort, um, Scott Street, um, and we are we are quantifying or, or, or um, determining the, uh, the amounts of flooding, uh, both in the street and outside the city's right of way. And we will be looking at improvements, um, targeting, targeted improvements throughout the neighborhoods um, to, to de determine which improvements can provide the, the most, um, the most increase, the bit largest increase in the level of service throughout this area. Is that every, oh, I know it's a lot, but is that everything you want to include in the answer from everyone? That way I, I make sure, I'm, I was writing everything down so I can go ahead and translate it. Yeah, that's, that's, that sums it up. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, otra vez lo voy a explicar que en el área amarillo donde está donde eh, van a hacer el proyecto y lo que están explicando es que van a ver toda el área en el vecindario y están viendo eh, la calle principal y todos los canales que conectan en esa área para ver especialmente eh, que el agua drene de la mejor manera y de qué pueden hacer que vaya a afectar eh, en la manera más positiva en todo el área. So ellos ahora mismo en el estudio están viendo a ver eh, las calles que conectan y la mayor y cuando llueve y donde se colecciona el agua. Um, Javier, did I, did I miss anything in there? I, I, I think I translated most of like, the big picture. I don't know, I know if Javier is there. Well, um, you got it. it. You, you, okay. Está bien, está bien, Camila. Lo resumiste muy bien. Okay, so, uh, si tienen alguna otra pregunta, me avisan, pueden ponerlo también ahí. Pero eh, lo que están viendo es todo el vecindario y todo lo, eh, el sistema, cómo va a afectar todo. So, um, that, that's it. Back to you, Jeannie. Thank you, Camila. Thank you, Javier. Thank you, everyone. Another question here, um, should I expect any of the phase of work to be very noisy? Potholing for underground utilities, construction, uh, concrete placement, surveying, et cetera? Well, uh, Mike Turner with Harris County Engineering Department here. This, uh, this is a, a heavy, uh, once construction is underway, uh, we expect it to, to proceed on uh, in, in, a, in an organized fashion uh, from the Sims Bayou uh, following up the channel, uh, passing Belfort and Martin Luther King, and finally to Calhoun at the end. Uh, it, it's, it's likely that the, the noise and the dust will will be minimized uh, as much as we can uh, but it 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 shall not uh, as these things happen it, it won't be uh, zero and so we uh, during that time we would hope for the um, uh, the understanding from from the community uh, about the noise but it, it will not um, be it will not continue on and on forever. Uh, it, it will be done. And what once the project is completed will result in a measure of flood reduction for the neighborhood um, and increased drainage. Uh, so the, the benefits uh, definitely will, uh, we're thinking will outweigh the costs uh, to the noise. The question about the study, we want to remind you that the study will be online at a later date. We have another question for Camila here. Can you, uh, yes. can you ask that question, Camila, for us? Of okay. course. So um, the question in English is, will the presentation be available later on on a website? La pregunta que hicieron en español es, eh, la presentación estará disponible en el sitio web después de la presentación. So. I will take that one. Uh, yes, it will. 
It will be posted on our website um, in the near future, yes. Okay. Eh, la contestación es sí. Van a poder poner todas las presentaciones y luego creo que la están poniendo ahora en la página. Pueden ver en el website exactamente de la página web donde va a estar. So, back to you, Jeannie. Thank you. Thank you. And want to remind you that website is hcfcd.org forward slash SWD. Panelists, we have a question about property taxes in relation to this project. Would anyone like to, to address that? Uh, I think that's something we, we would have to look into um, because we're only in the study phase uh, and there's still the design phase and the, and the construction phase to get through. Um, and Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, but the study has already been, um, the funding for the study is already there. Uh, with regard to property taxes, um, that's that's a question we would have to answer as we get closer to construction phase. Yeah, thanks, um, Adam. the The idea is that this the goal of this project is to re reduce the flood risk reduction of the neighborhood. Um, it's a uh, in, in Harris County in cooperation with Harris County Flood Control and cooperation with the city of Houston um, is goal is to reduce the, the flood risk uh, to the to the neighborhoods in this and the community and also a uh, precinct one is um, provided uh, a commitment to create a trail through the length of the project and connecting paths to neighborhood uh, the, to to the neighborhood it it will result in an asset to the community is, um, is the goal in, in multiple ways. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Adam. Another question coming in is, will this project, I'm guessing the construction phase, hinder um, incoming outgoing traffic? Yeah, the uh, Mike Turner here with the engineering department, uh, the construction of, of the project will allow the automobile traffic to, to proceed on uh, just as it is now, it will be phased in a fashion that uh, the major thoroughfares will continue to function, the uh, streets will be, and, and bridges will be uh, dismantled and reconstructed uh, so that traffic will be maintained and and on the smaller streets uh, perhaps uh, detours can be uh, created uh, if we have seven or eight or nine streets that we're crossing but the major streets will maintain their traffic and and no detours will be needed uh, while construction is is uh, being, being conducted okay you. We have another question. The, what is the big difference between the before and the after? How much flood reduction are we talking about? Yeah, um, Mike Turner here. We, we are continuing uh, in, during the study phase to determine how much reduction that this will achieve and and re reducing the flood levels at um, at any any amount uh, will be will be helpful and uh, be a benefit to the community. The answer is we're we're still conducting that that study with the, the goal to provide as much flood risk reduction as we can. Uh, while still working within the established right away to replace this open ditch with an enclosed storm drain box culvert. Thank you. We have another question about the county, okay, county and flood control and city role. We do want to remind everyone this is a partnership um, between Harris County 
uh, Flood Control District, Harris County Engineering Department, Harris County Precinct 1, and City of Houston. Would you like to show the jurisdiction exhibit again? Adam? Yeah, sure. Um, so once the um, once the, the the culvert the the closed culvert uh, ditch is put in, is put in place, um, the city will be uh, responsible for maintaining that portion as well as everything outside of the trail. Um, so the neighborhood systems, the roadways, um, the, you know, our current uh, uh, responsibilities, we will, main, we will maintain those. Um, where the where saltwater ditch, um, the, the proposed improvements change from a closed system to an open channel uh, south of Vassar Road as it runs along FM Law Park down toward the, the bayou, um, that will be maintained by uh, Harris County Flood Control District. Thank you so much, Adam. We do have, we have another question about how to um, provide input about the connections of the trail. We do wanna remind you, saltwater ditch at eng.hctx.net, right there. And we wanna let you know that the study phase in, in the later date will be up at this address, hcfcd.org forward slash SWD. I think we have time for one more question here. We do have a question coming in. And for those who have not been here the entire time, we do wanna have a refresher. This question is great. Um, where will, where will, the, uh, will this project uh, take place? and how long and where exactly will it go in the region, in the area? So if we can show up, I guess the aerial map right there. Okay, panelists, would you like to walk them through where this will go? Uh, my, yeah, Mike Turner, I'll just, I'll just begin and uh, Adam can, uh, with the city of Houston, uh, can can fill in the gaps, but the, the project will begin at Saltwater Ditch, Calhoun Road, and extend uh, finally down to Martin Luther King, crossing under Martin Luther King, and turn the corner around Belgard, following south to Bel crossing under Belfort Avenue, then crossing under Vassar Road, past Law Park, and on into Sims Bayou. So that's that's the the saltwater ditch project itself. And once the saltwater ditch, the open channel is replaced with a an enclosed storm drain pipe that conveys more water than the ditch does, then the city of Houston can engage there community drainage projects to drain into this enclosed storm drain pipe. Because the storm drain pipe will be at a lower elevation, the adjacent streets in the city of Houston projects can drain uh, much more efficiently than they can now with the shallow ditch that's out there now. Okay. And yes, once the uh, once the county study is done, once we know um, the size and the configuration of the improvements to the ditch, then the city can use those results to help further our study. And so we will be able to um, build off the capacity that will be in the, the final ditch, the proposed conditions. Um, and then we can construct and we can uh, uh, design our improvements around there, around the ditch um, to continue to further reduce uh, flooding in the streets and um, in properties uh, further outside of the ditch. And again, uh, Jeannie, if you could pull up um, the slide from my study. Um, we're actually looking, our study covers the entire um, greater Sunnyside area. Um, so as you can see, it's, uh, there it is. Um, it's basically, it's bounded by um, Highway 610 in the north, 
and then follows uh, Makawa Street on the east. Um, kind of goes along Sims Bayou in the south, and uh, on the west, it kind of jogs between um, Scott Street um, and over to 288. But it's essentially the entire area between 288, Makawa, 610, and, and Sims Bayou. And so we're looking at not just the systems along Saltwater Ditch, uh, but we're also looking at systems further outside, all the way to the west at um, right there, Scott Street and 610. Um, further south at the at the bayou and then everywhere in between. So um, our study is has a little bit larger area than the saltwater ditch, um, stud, the county study, um, but their findings are, are integral to, to our study and our study um, is important uh, to, in, in, to incorporate into the, the counties with the county study too. So it's a, a true partnership project um, that's uh, that's it's important to to all three partners in this uh, precinct one flight control actually all four partners uh, precinct one flight control Harris County engineering and the city so um, so yeah thank you Adam thank you Mike thank you all of our panelists Kim, thank you. Saltwater Ditch recommended improvements. Some final notes. This Zoom channel will remain open until 8 p.m. for you to submit your questions to be answered at a later date by a member of our team. Please feel free to reach us by emailing saltwaterditch at eng.hctx.net. Additional information about the project can be found at hcfcd.org forward slash SWD. And from all of us here with Harris County and the city of Houston, we want to remind you to say yes to Census 2020 and make Houston and Harris County count by filling out your census form online, by phone, or by mail. Thank you and have a great evening.
So at this point, that is the conclusion of our meeting. You can still submit questions in the Q&A for another 20 minutes until eight o'clock, or you can send them to the email addresses on the screen.